Nelson? If I had to say, okay, give me Dirks's Mount Rushmore. Oh, gosh, that's tough. Now, this is Four your guys. life, and I don't yeah. want you to say who— Merle Haggard, George right. Jones, the usual stuff, right? You can, <clears throat> but I don't want you to say that just because you feel like no, you have to. I, I, if it, was my, it would be George Strait for sure, because my dad and I grew up listening to country radio, and my dad loved George Strait. He was the guy, still is. So George Strait would be up there. Um, the guy that really turned me on to country music, and this is no joke, I was 17. I'd listened to country music as, as a kid, but I— when I started playing electric guitar, I listened to nothing but Van Halen and, I mean, Iron Maiden and all this crazy stuff. But at 17, a friend of mine sat me down and played me a song called Man to Man by Hank Jr., and that changed my whole life. I mean, it was one song I knew it was like the stars aligned. I was like, it was the craziest thing ever. I moved to Nashville two years later. So Hank Jr. would be there. Um, uh, when I got here, I discovered bluegrass music, and Keith Whitley was such a, a mix of, of bluegrass and country, so... Keith Willie be up there as well. And then as a, a fourth, it had to be Garth, because Garth's the guy that the first car- concert I saw, first country concert, first concert was Bon Jovi and Skid Row. First country concert was Garth Brooks. And I was in the very back of the arena. I had the worst seats. I could actually touch the roof of the arena. You know, where the, the roof yeah. meets the seats. That was me and my brother. But I felt like he was singing to me with, you know, no videos, no moving lights. Just, it was just him. And uh, he, that was a really big influence, too. You ever meet Garth? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remembers my name, knows my wife's name. Uh, you know, he's... The first time I met him, he knew how many albums I'd sold that week. Was it cool to it meet was awesome. Garth? It was awesome. It was everything. We actually, one of the shows he played in um, Kansas City, there's eight shows, and we went to one of them, brought me and my wife backstage. We were the only ones back there. He totally ignored me, which was great. He just went right to my wife and was just like dialed in on her, asking her questions. Oh, you have a marketing degree? You know, I had a marketing degree. da 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 Show ended like three hours later. She's wearing high heels, so she's like making her way towards the car. You know, she's tired of standing. And he grabs me. He's like, hey, Dirks. Did Cassidy have a good time? I was like, after all that, three hours of just like pouring out on stage, you remembered her name. You know, I was like, yeah, man, she did. Cool guy.